for my blog post, I mentioned that I like to link key people, uh, locations, events to books that I have in Logos. Now, the way I do this is in Logos, you can copy the URL to the book. So for example, let's look at William of Ockham. Let's say I wanted to link it to a dictionary article. One of the dictionaries that I like using for the history of the church is this Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church. And let's go ahead and search for William of Ockham. There he is. And the first thing we want to do is click up here and make sure the copy location is set under URL. And as you can see, you can do Option Command C to copy the URL location. So you want to highlight the heading. We're going to do Option Command C. And then let's go back to Byword. And we're going to insert a link. This is going to be our text, so let's put it in brackets. And then parentheses around the URL, which is what we just copied. And so now let's preview this. If we click on William of Ockham, it will take us right to there. Let's cl close this and show you how it works. Click it and it will open it up right there. In order to get this from Byword to Evernote, you need to use the publishing feature. So let's click File, and go to Publish, and I already have it set up here, and click Publish. And if we go to Evernote, notice we have our church history notes, and we have our William of Ockham clickable, and it takes us right to Logos. This is nice when you're reviewing later and you want to look up some key people in your notes. Now that that's it for the Byword functionality. And you would think you'd be able to do this right within Evernote, but for some reason there is a limitation. So let's go ahead and highlight this and pull up the hyperlink. And Notice how when you put in the URL, you cannot click OK. I have not been able to figure out why or how to be able to do this from within Evernote. And using Byword has been the only solution that I have been able to figure out. But it actually works well because I take most of my notes in Byword and then I will add them to Evernote later. And if you have any questions, just ask.